and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, so, just coming around to the end of the month, so some new Patreon content coming soon. I've also recorded a Cryptic Crossword Solve for Patreons as well, who sometimes like it there. So, that'll be going up soon too. Um, now, just around the corner from, this is a bank holiday in the UK, so working week starts tomorrow. Um, and school terms just about to begin for a lot of people, including my kids, and university terms, um, and maybe some semblance there of life getting back to normal, but who knows, maybe not for many territories and places, and the new normal may be different from the old one. What better time, and I would always say this, for Sudoku. So, Today we have a thermo Sudoku with one extra twist. This is from Justin Smart, and he calls it a unique bulb thermo Sudoku. Um, and what that means is that you'll see that there are some regular thermos in the grid, but there are also three dots, which are just bulbs. Um, and these are kind of unknown thermometers. And the rule is that each bulb Oh, sorry, each of the digits 1 to 9 feature on a bulb. So these 9 cells, I think there must be 9, yeah, they are the digits 1 to 9. Now I think in traditional Sudoku terms this would kind of be a thermo extra region Sudoku, but it's a nice idea that the extra regions are the bulbs, although one of these three must be a 9, and I'm not quite sure what use a thermometer with just one gradation on it would be, <laughs> but uh, that's for philosophers to ponder about. Actually, one of those must be the 8 as well, because there are no two-cell thermometers anywhere. Anyway, the numbers on thermometers increase um, where there is a line on the thermometer from the bulb to the end, and normal Sudoku rules apply. Have a go on the link below the video. I'm going to start it now. Let's get cracking. So, never mind the extra region bit. <clears throat> Let's start with the long thermometer. So, this one is four, five, six, well, it's eight cells long, and that seven is telling us that there's no seven along here. So the one degree of freedom that an eight cell thermometer would have has gone. And we can fill in one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. I mean, it's all given, effectively. So that's a nice start. <clears throat> now, that also means that the one on the bulbs has gone. So, none of the others can start with anything lower than 1. This one, can't because of that 9, can't end higher than an 8. So, its 4 degrees of freedom have been reduced to 2. So, I think we could have 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, hang on, uh, 4, 5, not 7 actually, because the 6 is there. So, that reduces it back down. Oh look, we're only going to get two possible... That could only be five or seven, because it can't end in more than eight. That could be seven or eight. Yeah, two possibilities on every cell of that thermometer. And this one, which is the only other longish one... Ah, oh, yeah, look, that can't end in nine, eight, or six. It obviously ends in seven. Then going back up it, it can't start with a 1, because we've already had a 1 on a bulb. So, it's just two possibilities back to the start. And now, this is the key point, I think. We have the two, two, three thermometers. So, the other thermometers cannot start with 1, 2, or 3. So, this... What have we got to place? 4, 5, 6, 8, and 2. Well, this can't be a 2. The 2 in the bottom row must be there. There's only one degree of freedom along that one. This could be 4, 5, or 8. One of those is a 6. <clears throat> this is a 1, 2, 3 triple up here. Uh, because we've got 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 7 in the column. That means this is a 4, because we've already had the 1, 2, and 3 in the box. And I mean, this really is oops, <coughs> working relatively straightforwardly. That's good. Now, we still don't know which of those is 2 and which is 3. Um, 
what can we do next? 9, 8, 6, 7, 4. Oh, look at 9s, actually. That 9 is ruled out of those. That 9 is taken out of those. That 9 is out of those. That can't be a 9 for the thermo. 9 in the box is there. Yeah, let's keep going in this box because that 2 is ruling out that cell. So 2 is one of those. Um, let's see, it's 1. 1 is one of those two. Hmm, but we're just going to need to disambiguate the thermometer to get the rest. 8 is in one of those cells. 4, 6, 2, 1, 3, 8. We've got 9, 5, 7. Ah, that is a naked single 7, given the 1, 2, 3, triple. It can see 4 and 8 in the box, 5, 6, 9 in the row. So 5 and 9 in those two cells. Now, this can't begin any lower than 4. So it's 4, 5 or 6 there, 5, 6 or 7 there. What about this one? Could be a four still, remember, um, or a six. Oh, look, no, 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 this cannot be eight or nine. It's got to be seven. This has to be four. I'm sure this is right. That's a five. Yep, that, that is all it can be. That diagonal thermometer turns out to be the most useful one. Right, that's fixed this as a five because that four on a bulb has been taken. That makes this one a six, which makes that thermometer easy. One, two, nine. That's a four to complete the row now. Six here, because we've got sixes placed up there. Um, two, three. So we've got seven, eight, and nine to put on these remaining bulbs, unsurprisingly, perhaps. That one is seeing a seven and nine, so that's an eight. Seven and nine there, seven, nine, five, six. Ah, eight and eight. Where does eight go in the top of this column? Not there because of that eight, so it's there. We've got one, two, three, four to place in the column. Can't do that. Um, six, two, nine, one, four. So where can we go next? Oh, six again, six, six. And that six says six is there. That gives us six there. I think all the sixes are placed. Five, five, four. Four is in one of those two because of this four and this four, ruling out those. Oh, so one of those two, but that doesn't resolve it. Three is not in those. So three is in one of those. Oh, and 2 is in one of these two, but look, 2 has been restricted there, so it's not in that cell, it's in this one. And 2 and 9 are done in row 4, 9 and 2 are done in row 5, so in row 6, 2 and 9 have to be a little pair over here. Um, doesn't help resolve the rest of that quite. Um, still don't quite know the last... Oh no, we've got four bulbs left to disambiguate. Um, that must be possible soon, I would think. What am I missing here? 295... They haven't... Oh, that five, that has sorted out this the, the end of this thermometer at least. Seven and eight there, that's fine. That's putting the eight in column seven up here. Seven, eight, six, two, nine. That could be one or three. This could still be one, three, or four. That means the five is here in the column, which doesn't help the thermo, but it does give us a five in the central box. This is a one, three pair. So five now is up here. Eight and nine are down there. That's a one. This is a nine. Nine's not helpful. Um, I can see lots of duos there, but not actually resolved. Eight, five, six, seven, nine. 
No, I'm obviously looking at the wrong things now because I think we are very much closing in on a finish. One of those is a five. Um, seven is restricted to uh, to those cells. Five, one, six. Yeah, I'm, oh, two, right, two is ruled out of those, so two goes in there. Now that is helpful, it sorts out the nine, two pair, puts two in column two, that fixes the top of this thermometer. It doesn't help with that three or four. Um, this is now a naked single one. Four and nine to complete the row. Ah, and the nine fixes the last bulbs. Um, five, six, still one, four, three. That can't be a one. We know that. This is a one, three pair. Seven, six, one. This is not one, and that give because of the one in the box. That gives us three, four pair, and we get the one there. That finishes the central box. This is a three or a four because of that two. So we've placed the two. Um. This, I don't know, they're not, oh, this is a one because of that two that we just put in. The one fixes the three, one pair in box one, four, three, four. We've got three and five to go in here and they're not resolved. One to finish the column, four and three to finish the box. We can clearly finish box seven. This eight, nine pair has been done since we did the last bulb. Three, seven there, five, three there, and we can finish off with an eight and a five here. So that is um, the completion of Justin Smart's unique bulb thermo Sudoku. Thanks very much, Justin, for sending it. Nice, nice quick one today. I mean, I hope that's helpful to you just to boost the confidence, if nothing else. Um, and thank you for following us. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Lovely to see you and bye for now.